Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. We're up early today and I'm excited because we have a lot of things that I want to talk about, specifically an update to my couch vlog. My final piece is here. I'm really excited to show you the final piece. It's coming together all so beautifully. My coffee table also came in and I'm really excited about that. So let's just get into it. What are you doing in there? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you really like the couch? Say so you love the couch? Love getting your hair all over the couch, don't you? Say yes. Say I love the couch. Hey guys, so I'm planning on taking Zeus on a walk right now and it is peak prime and the sun is out so i'm applying another layer of sunscreen today i'm using the ren clean screen mineral spf of 30. it's a mineral sunscreen and it has i want to say it has zinc because 
Where on earth are the ingredients? Okay, well, I'll have to look it up, but I'm assuming it's zinc because zinc is usually the ingredient that causes the white cast. I just got this. I've been curious about this one for a while. I finally got it and it's thick, very, very thick. But um, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, so I'm really excited. I ordered a new tripod off of Amazon. I'm too tall for my tripod, so every time I try to film something like at my height, it doesn't, it, it can't. I have to like position myself at a weird angle, which is why in some of my videos, if you see like I'm squatting a weird way, that's why. So I ordered a tripod today that's taller than I am. I'm very excited. Let's open it right now. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie, this smells terrible. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like fish. It's a weird smell that it came. Ugh. All right, let's get this guy opened. Okay, so I attempt to take photos of myself and I take my tripod. So I am so glad that this comes with a carrying case. By the way, this is the brand. I forgot the brand, but I'll have it right here. I got it on Amazon, like I already mentioned, and I'm really excited. I spent a pretty penny on this, so I'm hoping it's good. I mean, a pretty penny in terms of tripods. I mean, you can find tripods on Amazon for like 20 bucks. This one was, this one was a, little, a little expensive, but it's an investment, right? Dude, I love that it comes with a carrying case. I know that I said that already, but I'm excited. <laughs> Ooh, look how fancy she looks. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this, but I like this one because there's a feature where you can glide it over top and have the tripod like this so I can film things like swatches on my hands and stuff, which is one of my main things that I didn't like about my other tripod. This looks legit. It feels, I mean, it's a good weight. It's not super heavy. It's definitely carry friendly, but it's it's got some heftiness to it. Okay. <gasps> it's so sturdy. Another thing that I wanted a good expensive tripod for was I broke my last tripod because the legs were way too skinny and it just chipped off. And so I was like, you know what? I need a sturdy one. So, wow. Look at the, look at the roller ball thing. It's pretty big. I don't know if I did that right. Oh God. Okay. Well, this is exciting. Let me figure out how to play with this because I have no idea what I'm doing right now, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Let me try and see if I can quickly stand it up so we can see how tall it is. So we can actually see if it's taller than good old Faith. All right, let me get up. Um, okay, so this tripod is giant. Enormous. It's way taller than I am, but I'm in it. I'm for it. I'm here for it. I am tired of dealing with my short tripod that cannot do anything for me because I'm a tall girl. Look at this. Y'all are going to laugh so hard. Look how tall it is. That is my ceiling right there. What is going on? I can't remember the exact dimensions. I want to say this one. No, I'm not even gonna guess because I can't remember, but I'll have all the details. But look at this beauty. I'm gonna be able to get some full body shots with this. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm very excited. So let me go play with this and figure out how to use this. But first impressions, she's thick, she's sturdy, she's tall, checks all the boxes for me. As you have already seen, my final missing link finally got here and I'm in love. 
chef's kiss to this couch. It is absolutely beautiful. Now I want to go through the whole process again. I know I've already touched on this a little bit in my first video, but this is the Madani Bloom 3 couch. It does come with three separate pieces, and then I also opted to get the ottoman as well. I really thought it would be a great addition since we like to have a larger couch for when people come over anyways, family or anything like that, and I felt like it really fit the shape really well, the L shape rather than just the long three-piece sectional. And overall, I am really pleased with Madani. I really loved their shipping as well. This did ship out in two different shipments, but that's only because one of the parcels was back ordered, so they were able to get it to me sooner by ordering it from another store location. I want to say it was Miami. So that is why it shipped separately, and I'm totally okay with that because I wouldn't have gotten my full couch until a couple more months, and I was already without one and I couldn't not wait any longer so I opted to have it shipped in in separate pieces. Now they did ask me that before they shipped it out and the next piece got in surprisingly really quick. I wasn't supposed to get it till mid July I want to say and it unexpectedly, I don't know what's going on, I think things are slow right now with shipping because of everything that went on and is going on with COVID. So shipping does take a little bit longer than usual. It did come sooner than I expected and I'm so happy with the couch. It is absolutely beautiful in person. I wish you all could come and lay on it and test it for yourself, but I'm really pleased with my purchase. It was an investment couch, I mean it was it wasn't inexpensive. Of course it was more inexpensive than the cloud couch, which it is a dupe for in my opinion. Now, I wanna be honest, I've never sat on the cloud couch before, but this one is really, really comfy. It's really soft and it's really easy just to fall asleep here, which I have done several, several times. Now, I do wanna say that it is much larger than what I expected, which I'm okay with. I did measure it before it got here, but for some reason, it appears larger than my other couch that I had, which the measurements were pretty similar, but this one is much larger. I am a pretty tall person. I'm 5'7", and my fiance is like 5'11", so he's right around my height, and we both can lay on this on separate sides and still fit with plenty of space. And that's not something that we could do with our other couch. So this one has plenty of room to sit in the living room, watch TV, and just enjoy an evening. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about the maintenance because I do want to make people aware this is a white couch. There's definitely going to be some maintenance on it. As you see, Zeus has been sitting on it for a week and there was lots of hair all over it. I do have a dog and his fur is black. So, I mean, I was prepared for that. I kind of knew that there was going to be hairs all over it. Zeus has been allowed on the couch since like day one when we got him. We just let him on the furniture. He's a really good behaved dog. I mean, he'll get off if I tell him to, but I'm not home eight hours of the day. I'm at work. It'd be a little difficult now to train him not to get on when we've let him get on sofas his whole life and he's six years old. So we're just gonna let him get on. Like I mentioned, I was prepared for you know hair and just kind of stuff on it. So I do have a small vacuum. The vacuum is great. I also thought about picking up the Chom Chom Roller on Amazon that everyone talks about for dog hair just for like quick little like cleanup. But that vacuum honestly was so quick and so easy to use. It had a vacuum attachment and it also has a very narrow attachment as well as a car attachment, I think. So that vacuum was like 60 bucks and it was well worth it. I got that actually a while ago, not knowing I was gonna get this couch. It just kind of worked out perfectly. Now, like I mentioned, there will be small maintenance on this couch. Since it is so pure white, you will see anything 
that's noticeable on it at all like smudges if Zeus had like a little something on his paw and he jumped on you will see it I wiped something off real quick with water and it just like scrubbed off really easily so I'm prepared for that I am gonna be doing routine maintenance each week kind of inspecting it fluffing the pillows and making sure that there's not anything that I haven't missed that I can't clean immediately and you should be vacuuming your couches like once a week anyways my old couch was super 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 old I had had it from college my grandma actually gave it to me and that couch had been through some stuff my brother now has that couch and I did clean that couch a couple of times but not near as much as I know that I'm gonna clean this couch this couch was definitely an investment like I've mentioned already I do plan on having it for a very very long time so I do want to upkeep it for eventually when we move and get a bigger house I know we're probably gonna have um, an area where we need another couch at as well so I do want to talk about the appearance of the couch because obviously right now I just vacuumed it I cleaned it I fluffed it it looks really good on camera but I do want to make a note that this couch is a lived-in couch it is made to look like it's been lived in meaning if you sit on it and you get up it's not gonna be as fluffed as it was before when you just previously fluffed the whole couch it's not going to be as like a uh, cloud like it is going to look like someone sat on it which doesn't bother me because i wanted a more relaxed fit that's personally okay with me but i know that's not what everyone wants so i do want to make a note to specify that if you want something a little bit more firm and a little bit more uh not clean looking but something that'll hold and keep its shape even after someone sit on it this isn't the couch for you it's definitely going to be more lived in, more soft. You sit on it, people are going to sit on it. It's going to it's not going to look as fluffy. I also want to talk about the back pillows. These are completely removable, so they're not attached to the couch at all, which I don't like because I can come in and fluff these or I can take them off and vacuum them very easily. And it comes with five of these pillows, one for each headrest and then along the back. And I really like that you can wash these as well. There's a zipper on the side, I'm not sure if you can see, but you can take these all off and wash them. And there's just like a regular pillow inside, which I do plan on doing once every couple of months. I don't wanna wash it too much because I don't want the fabric to mess up and I want to look into care for this particular couch. I haven't done my research yet on, on what kind of detergent I can use and all that good stuff about temperature and wash times. Obviously I would put it on delicate, but I just wanna do my research before I do all of that. But I do plan on washing the covers every, so, every couple months or so. The bottom cushions also have a zipper where you can easily remove the inserts and wash the outside portion, which I absolutely love. It just makes, maintenance super easy so so far i'm really in love with this couch i did buy a white kind of knit blanket uh, to go on top that was kind of like my preventative measure for zeus if he jumped on at least he jumped on that blanket i should have known he was always going to want to be under the blanket my dog loves blankets he's like obsessed with them and i should have known that he's going to want to be under but that's not a problem i did buy a king size blanket as well with the intention of when we're laying on this couch a lot of the times me and yuri are both cold and we need a blanket and we're always fighting for the same one or you know one's not big enough so i wanted this to be able to cover both of us when we're laying down watching tv or anything like that or if i'm laying by myself and i want something just really kind of warm and snug it's just really inviting to have such a large throw and i feel like it definitely adds some texture to the couch as well the brand is casa luna and i'll leave the link below but i got it at target and it is really soft. It's really great quality, but it isn't, I mean, there's a little hole, it's a knit blanket, so there's little holes in the blanket. So it's, it definitely keeps you warm and it has a good weight to it. But during the winter months, I'm probably gonna have to get something a little bit heftier when it's a little bit cooler and colder during that season. But overall, I just like the aesthetic look of that blanket. I feel like it looks really good. I really love the knit texture. So let's talk next about my coffee table, guys. This is my dream. I know I just said that about my couch, but I feel like my house is really coming together and I'm just really excited because I hadn't really decorated much and 
now that I'm a little bit older, I'm a little bit more financially stable, I'm able to invest in pieces that will last me a long time and are a little bit more pricey and really fit my aesthetic. Now this couch is from West Elm. It's my first West Elm purchase. I was so excited when we placed that order. I feel like it goes with the couch really, really beautifully. I feel like it adds some more texture, like the grainy part on the wood. It is a wood, I don't know if I mentioned, it is a wood coffee table. It's a white stained wood coffee table, if I am remembering correctly. And I just feel like it really goes with this kind of shape. I was debating on getting a circular coffee table or a rectangle, and I opted for the rectangle one just because I feel like it fit the space a little bit better. It has a little bit of a skinnier under portion underneath the coffee table, and it's really light. I really thought that this was gonna be heavy, and it completely was not, so I can move it myself, which is nice if I want to reposition it or you know clean it or whatever. It did ship in one piece, so when it got here, I did not have to assemble it, which is a huge plus in my book. I hate having to assemble things because, for one, I'm not very good at it. For two, it's just, sometimes it just doesn't come out like the way you want it. Like, you, you put a screw in wrong or you do something that's not, you know, you're figuring it out and it messes up. And West Elm is expensive. And I looked into some of their items. Some of their items do come where you have to assemble them. Thank God that this one didn't. So I do highly recommend this coffee table for that reason. And it's just a beautiful color. It, I, I really like it. And I can't wait to style it. This isn't how I'm officially going to style it. I just pulled some things that I already had in my house just so you can kind of see an idea of what it would look like styled. I'm gonna get some coffee table books and some flowers. I just don't know which ones quite yet, so stay tuned for a video coming up on that. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this couch at all, because I know before I ordered it, I researched this couch a million and one times, trying to find videos on YouTube, trying to find people who were talking about it so I could get a really good understanding before I spent the money on it. Like I said, it was not cheap, and I wanted to find everything that I could before I purchased it, so I hope I was able to answer your questions or provide a little bit of clarity if you are interested in getting a couch like this from Madani. I know that they have a bigger portion, which I'm excited about because if we do eventually move you know sometime in the future when I have kids or anything like that you can add pieces onto this one to make it even larger so I'm really excited about that I know like kids and white is not ideal but like I said I'm gonna have this couch for a long time I I can feel it but yeah if you have a specific question about this particular couch and this particular brand please let me know down in the comments below if I did not already answer it I'm happy to like send you videos and photos as well because I would have loved if someone did that for me. So let me know and if you don't have a question about the couch, drop me a comment down below on what you think I should do with the coffee table decor and if you think I should get a side coffee table over here, let me know because I'm looking around. I really have one in mind that I want but I just don't know how it's gonna look yet, so stay tuned for an updated video on that as well. But let me know down below what you think I should be doing and what kind of wall decor. I definitely need to get started on that as well because that wall is bare. But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button if you would like to join along this journey. We would love to have you. Until next time, guys, bye.